Okay, so we wanted to talk a little bit about the 85 mil Wabco head. And a lot of these torque specs would apply to the uh, twin Wabcos as well. But let's just concentrate on this. These are the most popular uh, that we're seeing in the market today. So when you buy a head from us, we get a lot of calls about how do we install the valves, how do we torque it, and if you don't torque them properly, then there are issues that are going to be involved. Your gaskets won't seal, your valves might not work. So when you flip your head over, when you take it out of the box and you take your gaskets out, on one side of the gasket you'll notice that there's a silicone impregnated surface. So that goes down to the metal surface, okay? And you notice there's a notch in one side of the valve. Well, you've got to make sure that that notch goes to the top of the seahorse. And the holes are larger here. So that when you set it down on your head, now it's going to seal to the bottom when you torque it. And you see how there's room here for the seahorse to move back and forth? And as well, the unloader ports are lined up properly. And that's very important. Now when you put your head gasket on, you're going to put it on right over top of it the same way. You've got to make sure that the notch is over the seahorse and the larger holes and the small holes all line up together. So then when you take that and you set it back onto the compressor, what's important is how you torque this head on. So you have four main head bolts and you have five of the smaller head bolts. We get so many calls on how to torque it and we know that Wabco talks in Newton meters and a lot of people have a hard time understanding that. So what we've done is we've crossed the Newton meters to foot pounds and inch pounds. So here's how you torque a head. And one of these sheets, one of these sheets with regards to torque comes in every one of our heads that we sell. And it gives you the pattern on which bolt should be torqued first and what the sequence should be. So number one, you start with the main four head bolts. This is A. So what we like you to do is we like you to torque these main bolts going A, B, C, and D. Follow the diagram that's in the head and you're going to torque those head bolts down to 18 and a half foot-pounds. These bolts are torque to yield bolts so it's very important your next step. You've torqued them all to 18 and a half and now you're going to start again on the sequence and you're going to pull them 90 degrees. Now what that means is that you're going to take your torque wrench after you've already done it or a swing handle and you're going to go from one position all the way to 90 degrees and that's going to torque the yield on the thread and you'll find that it's it's extremely tight but that's what we want you to do 18 and a half pounds on the four main bolts and then 90 degrees following the sequence that's on the sheet after you've done that then we want you to take the five small bolts and what you're going to do there again follow the sequence that's in the sheet and you're going to torque these to four foot pounds or 48 inch pounds four foot pounds are hard to read on a torque wrench so you might want to stick with the inch pounds so 48 inch pounds on the small bolts and then once again you're going to turn them 90 degrees that gives you your torque to yield now if you do that and you set them all that way after that, you can check them by loading air pressure into the head to make sure you have no leaks. But if you torque them that way, you'll have no problem installing your new Webco head. 